Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade the firmware of your Netgear R7000 using the Nighthawk app. So the first thing I did is went into my iPhone and searched for the Nighthawk app and I found it. And I'll just click on get here and click on install. Okay, I need to enter in my password and then it goes off and starts installing it. Okay, so the app installed. So I can click on open and then click on I agree. Okay, so before we get started you need to come in to your settings and make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected to your Netgear router, which mine is. It says Netgear 74-5G. All right. Then we'll bring up the Netgear app again and click on Get Started. And then we need to log in with our email address and password that we used for our Netgear account. So after you enter in your email address and your password, let's click on return. And then click on login. So do you want to install a new gear product? I'm going to say no. So now it's going out and detecting my product. So now you need to log in as admin to your router. So by default, the password is set to the word password. So if you have not updated the default password from the factory settings, that's what your password will be. And then come down here and click on sign in. So I don't plan on using the remote management feature. So I'm just going to say maybe later. All right, so then you'll see here, right in the top here, the internet online, and then you'll see an update. So click on update. And then it says the firmware update might take about three minutes depending on your internet speed. My current firmware says I'm running 1.0.9.26, and the new version is 1.0.9.34 underscore 10.2.36. So I will click on update and it just says do not turn your router off during this update. Your router reboots after this firmware is updated. Now it says that rebooting your router might take about two minutes. So it says your update was successful. Your router's firmware was successfully updated. So I can click on next. Now it's searching for my router information. And they're just making sure that my current device is connected to the new router updates. Okay, so it was detected and my device is online again after the update. So that's how easy it was to upgrade the Netgear router firmware using the Nighthawk app on my iPhone. I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.